Minecraft has, has been just it's an incredible thing over the last few years. Um, when you very first sat down and conceptualized the idea and did the first bits of work in it, what, where did you think it would go realistically at that time? I was hoping to spend uh, half a year to a year on it and maybe make enough money to start a new game. That was kind of my semi-realistic uh, dream for it. Wow, so it was like a stopgap. And it's coming to Expo 360. Well, um, can you tell us more about that? Uh, I'm not supposed to say any dates because we actually apparently have a marketing plan, which is kind of new to us. Because we, we don't really have that like, at Mojang, but at uh, Microsoft they have that, which is wonderful because then we don't need to focus on that. Um, but it's going very well. I played uh, a new version recently where it had split screen support in, and you could just jump in by just pressing a start button. It worked just flawlessly. Obviously, right now is a, is a really interesting and also quite difficult time for the games industry. What do you think about um, the situation, particularly with game at the moment in, in the UK? Well, I think uh, that's an unfortunate side effect of uh, digital distribution. And I think digital distribution is saving gaming. So I'm kind of torn. I think it's very sad, but I think it's also very fun. So it's, it's uh, hard to be happy or sad about it. Congratulations on the whole Skrulls thing. And we can't, can't wait to see that, that game coming out. I mean, are, there, are you currently working on other little projects at the moment? Are you, are you always doing lots of different things? Yeah, I'm actually working on three different things now because, I don't know, when I gave away the lead role to Jens, I thought, I'm going to take a short break from creating games and then I'll start a game this summer. But it turns out I can't really not make games. So I kind of, well, I'm working on a game called Minitail, which I'm hoping to get finished. And then I started, for some reason, doing a Team Fortress 2 RTS game that I probably will not release. I'll just make it for fun. And then I started prototyping a space game. Fantastic. Any chance you might call any of them Oblivions? Uh, good idea, yeah. Yes, good idea. I think that would go down well. I don't see any legal hurdles at all. That's going to work. Would you ever consider making a game purely for a handheld device? Would that be something you'd be interested in? Yes. I think uh, I would be scared of doing the actual programming on it, because I've never done anything like that. But it would be very interesting to do some game design for that. This year is, is another, gonna be another big year for games. Yes. Uh, there's a whole load of exciting ones coming out. Is there anything that you particularly got on your radar that you're, you're keen to see where, how it develops? Uh, yes, Guild Wars 2. It was too. Yes, okay. it's uh, they're doing some interesting things with uh, like the whole the online thing and PvP and uh, all of that. It's going to be very cool to see. Fantastic. Um, well, just want to say one last question about this award. Where is that going to sit? Well, uh, I was going to put it on a shelf, but then I noticed how heavy it is. So we're going to have to get a really sturdy shelf for it.